first places in the life and ministry of Yeshua that were particularly significant locations. We can think of his birth in Bethlehem, and then we can think of his family fleeing all the way down south to Egypt when King Herod is going to kill the young boys and his family have to flee. And after that, Yeshua and his family don't return to Bethlehem, but they return to Nazareth, which is located in that direction. And then there comes that moment in Nazareth where it's his turn to read from the scroll of Isaiah in the synagogue on Shabbat. And he takes the scroll and he reads from it. And then he explains to them how the scripture is being fulfilled in their sight and in their times. And that the one that they are reading about is standing right in front of them. And they're furious and they want him to leave Nazareth and they pursue him to the edge of the city and then he is able to escape and yet again he has to flee and he actually comes to a place just around the corner here to your left hand side to Capernaum which becomes known as the town of Yeshua and then he begins to reach out to the people of this area but who are the people living here and why does he come here? Well, primarily around this corner of the Lake of Galilee, we have Jewish people and they are living in this area and many of them are fishermen. Some of them are tax collectors. They're ordinary people. But the reason that there are so many fishermen in this area is because where I'm sitting is just above an area of springs. These springs were salty and they were warm and the fish loved to gather in this area. So the fishermen would often come and they would fish in this area. There was a little port. There are stairs from the time of Yeshua that still come out, out of the water today. We can see them. And in fact, just below where I am, there is an area of fresh springs as well. And it is believed that that's, that is the place where the fishermen would actually go and they would wash their nets, they would clean off their equipment. So they were living all around this area. They were living in towns like Capernaum. They were living in places like Bethsaida. So these are places that we hear mentioned many times in the Gospel account. Now we don't really hear of Yeshua going down further to the south towards Tiberias, but we do hear of him crossing over to the other side of the lake. And when he crosses over, He's crossing over to a completely different population. So over on the other side of the lake, we have the Golan Heights on the horizon. And during Yeshua's time, that was an area where one important Decapolis city was located. And in fact, it would seem from the Gospel account that Yeshua performs different miracles on this side of the lake for the Jewish people. And then he crosses over to the other side and he goes and ministers to the Gentiles, to the nations who were living on that side of the lake. And in fact, this area is called Galilee of the Nations. It's also called the land of Zebulon and Naphtali. And we have the beautiful prophecy in the book of Isaiah about how his light will dawn in the region of Zebulon and Naphtali. And that is exactly the area where I am sitting now.